question is, do we go left or right? We must have gone right. Okay, let's go left this time. Oh shit! Until you start God, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, dude. Okay, let's proceed. How does it... It seems really bright down here. Yeah, let's go... Let's go left first. How the hell did I get overweight again so fast? Um, I must have had some kind of a buff that wore off, or a debuff that kicked in, I guess. Okay, well, in that case... That's not a terrible value to weight ratio, but it's also a couple of pounds. Let's eat the Meyer Lurk cakes and that and that. Okay, that got us two pounds back. Fire ant meat. <clears throat> That's nine pounds in total, but this is pretty unique stuff, so I don't know if we can make like a, you know, a really uh, good dish with it or something. Ooh, a scoped 44 Magnum. Nice. I think that's the first 44 we've come across. Bonus critical chance. Oh, yeah. I like this. I think we'll be keeping this weapon. Um, I only have only have six rounds for it at the moment, though. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll have to fix it up and maybe add it to our arsenal later. That was a nice find, though. I'll take it. Ammunition box. Five, five, six. We'll take them. Look at all that med. All those meds. Um, okay, so is this a thing or just... No, but we have a caution. Oh, that's a warrior. Shit, shit, shit. That warrior chasing us. He doesn't. He doesn't know we're here. That looks like it might be a soldier. All right. I don't want to have to deal with multiples of these at the same time. So let's go back up this way. There's the war here. Oh, 
he's almost dead. Might as well save our frag mine. How the fuck did I get encumbered again? I, I, I must have had like a buff from the food. Okay, this is bullshit. Um, let's get rid of this 32 pistol. That's got a 11.5 value to weight ratio. We're not getting rid of the scoped. That's a 12.3 value. That's a 12.4. That's a... That's a, a 4.3. You know what? I think I'm going to ditch this just because we come across those all of the time. We could go ahead and just eat those now. Rad scorpion meat we come across fairly often. So I think I'm going to ditch those too. But like I said, I want to keep the fire ammo. Uh, fire ant uh, meat, sorry, ammo. <laughs> what do we have for other here? Scrap metal is important. Two pound scissors? What the hell kind of scissors weigh two pounds? Getting rid of those. Go with that for now. Now we have two more ants down here. I'm not sure what flavor they are. I don't think they're warriors, but one of them might be a soldier. That looks like a pretty sizable ant right there. But it's not, it seems like it's bugged out. The bug's bugged. It's a soldier. Okay. Not really getting a, a good headshot off on it. Let's try this. I just about took it out. Okay, so this is going to exit at Falls Church, it looks like, wherever the hell that is. Taking in. Yeah, door to Falls Church. Okay, let's just go out there to mark it on the map. Look at this station. That, I think, is a sleeping raider. And that's a super mutant. Okay, let's not mess with these guys right now. I'm sure we'll be coming back here at some point. Okay, let's go back this way. I don't think we checked all the way over here. That's an easy locked door. Okay. Is 
So this is a supply room with a whole bunch of cool stuff in it. And we don't have the space for it. We can't open the average safe. Okay, let's take... We're already at 275! Oh, this sucks. Okay, this laser rifle is 8 pounds, and we don't even use laser rifles. It's got a 12.4 value to weight, which isn't terrible. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop it. We might come back for it later. We probably will not. No promises. A ripper. That's, that's a melee weapon. It's a six pound melee weapon. How does that compare to the Shisk? That's 29 DPS. This is 53 DPS. Value to weight is 8.2. It ignores damage resistance and damage threshold though. Oh my gosh. That's pretty damn good. We could use this on the on the um the Talon bastards. We've got to keep that, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what the hell we're gonna do though. Cause we're already over encumbered again. I'm gonna take the frag mines and the antiseptic and the wrench. <coughs> Alright, well. Something's got to give, and I think the next thing to give is probably going to be this 10 millimeter pistol. Another thing we could do is we have, I think we have two repair kits. Um, that'll lighten us up a bit, too. Uh, I don't want to repair this now just because we don't have the ammo for it right now. So I would say probably the cowboy repeater should be repaired. Since we've been using that quite a bit. And probably the 10 mil pis uh, pistol. Okay, so that, that gained us back a couple of pounds as well. I gotta... We gotta go finish this quest too, because that would get rid of another 3 pounds of our inventory that we keep carrying around. But this was definitely worth coming into to find the Ripper. It's good stuff. All right, let's just keep going this way. I can't tell what type of ant that is. I think it might be a soldier. Let's try... Uh, let's put these back on. Oh... No. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, this. And turn that off. That might just be a little guy. Yeah, I think that was just a little guy. Okay, we have a caution. There's another... ant kind of caught in the chain link fence there. That's a soldier. Can we shoot through chain link? Oh, he can. Yeah, I don't think we can. Oh, he, okay, he got out. Got him. Take the frag mines, all of that stuff. We need scrap electronics for weapon repair kits. Packs of cigarettes have very good 
value to weight ratio. Oh, here's William Brandis right here. All right, let's take his key. Oh, no, sorry. I didn't mean to shoot a corpse. Uh, let's take his key. The energy cells. Keep the rad winds out of your eyes. I don't know if the goggles do anything for us. Let's grab them and look at it. We're not taking the laser pistol. We'll take the fire ant meat and the nectar and the energy cells. And we're already overweight again. That means we can go back to his house now and look in, look in his stuff and get more information from his side of the story. Okay, that's blocked off. That's nothing. I'm using action points now because we're encumbered. But I there's there's nothing else I want to throw out, so we're just gonna have to deal. Alright, I think that might be just a normal worker ant there. No, that's a soldier. We got him though. Where we're going to get into trouble is if we get into a situation where we need to sprint because we're not going to be able to now. But I'm going to be very selective about what we loot. Completely out of ammo for our cowboy repeater. We've fired all of our 357 rounds. Uh, I'll, oh shit. I'll take the conductor and the cigarettes. And the metro ticket. I don't think metro tickets weigh anything. The bandage and the duct tape we will take. Let's go this way. I think... There's a gas leak over there, so if we do this... Are fire ants resistant to fire? Probably just goes back out to the other side of the the tunnel. I uh, don't know if we went down this way or not. 
But here again, if we get in a situation situation where we need to sprint, we are in trouble. Marigold Station. I hear footsteps. It's kind of a cool effect, stuff falling off the ceiling like that. Alright, let's go up above. See a couple of ants over that way. Let's get our tin mill out. Those were just little guys. Thirty-two rounds. Grady's last recording. I'm not going to pick up the lunchbox. I probably... What kind of shape is this 32 in? Eh. Well, you know what? We're already encumbered anyways. We might as well hang on to it. Alright, let's see what this Grady's last recording business is. Oh, I forgot to read this. Um, I found the perfect specimen for my experiments inside Marigold Station. I've set up shop underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last minute programming on my robot. And we were, oh, we already read that. Okay, that was in his terminal. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formicidae. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. <laughs> okay, Grady's last recording. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, and you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gertershade. Tell them Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet. In Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Okay. Sounds like a, another side quest. I don't think that's default material. A room, he said, with a spinning light. Fire hose. Westbound to Falls Church. Okay, so we we actually went all the way, to, or, or came, I should say, all the way from the other end of the subway then, because we were in Falls Church earlier. All right, let's go this way. Dead. It must be dead. Wait a second. Isn't this where we came in at originally? I think it is. Uh, is it? Because this door's open. And these ants are dead. And that's been looted. So yeah, I think we've been here already.
All right, so um, I'm a I'm a little bit turned around, to be honest with you. I know we've been here before, but I'm trying to remember where we went and where we didn't go. Did we go, we, we probably went left, so let's go right this time. I just, like I said, I don't remember for sure what happens when you get old. Of course, that ant's dead too. Oh no, okay, so this is where we came in at, gotcha, okay. Now I'm picking up what I'm putting down. Well, I'm kind of half tempted to cut the camera here and run back home and drop some stuff off because we're just like so encumbered right now. All right, let me get rid of those biker goggles. So I think I'll do that. I'm going to I'm going to save right here and then I will meet you guys uh, back here and we'll continue on. All right guys, I'm back at the base and I just wanted to show you that fire ant meat allows us to make fire ant bits which makes us a little thirsty but gives us 25 fire resistance. Um so that's not too, not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and make all of those. And then we'll store most of them in the fridge, but we'll take a couple of those with us for some extra fire resistance. Let's keep maybe a three. Yeah, we'll keep three with us. I don't know how long the fire resistance lasts, but um, if we have to get into like a big fire ant boss fight at the end, uh, those will come in handy. Um, I also ran into Crow and Megaton, who has really high repair uh, skill. So I had him do a bunch of repairs for us. And we got the 44 Magnum uh, repaired uh, really good. So I bought some 44 Mag ammo, and we're going to take that with us. Okay, so I'm going to finish getting stuff put away, and then I'll meet you back in Great Itch. All right, guys, we are back at the Brandis' house um, because we got the key or the password or whatever for what's-his-name's thingy. Um, Yeah, for here. Use key. Oh. That gives us a missile launcher and a missile. Okay. I guess we'll take those. Um... I guess we still have no way to get into his terminal and find out what he was up to, eh? Oh, let's grab those cigarettes. Okay, well, I guess we have another missile launcher then. I was hoping, you know, we could use that to get some more information, but apparently not. All right, so let's head back over to the station and kind of pick up where we left off. Okay, so uh, we're back here, and when we started this adventure, we went that direction. We kind of went around full circle and came out through the station here. So I'm not entirely sure where to go at this point. So let's just kind of keep wandering around and see if we can figure this out. We can't go that direction. Can't go that way either. So we must have come into the station. Oh, we came in through this direction. Right, because that goes to Falls Church. <laughs> What's... um? 
Oh, okay. I thought that was a doorway. Let's go back down through here. We have we have most of the enemies killed. Pretty sure we came down through that metro access area, so let's go this direction. We came through here. This is where we found what's his name's thingy. Uh key to get in his chest so we might we might not have gone down this well we have dead ants though so we probably did go down this way and I think this is what leads out to Falls Church right okay we don't want to go there for now at least I don't think we do No, this is where we found, yeah, uh, Brandis's thing. He has a surgeon outfit that probably gives medical, right? Yeah, plus five medical. We'll hang on to it for the moment. I don't know if we continued going this way. Well, it doesn't look, look like we can anyway. All right. So I think we went down this way. Question is, do we go left or right? We must have gone right. Okay, let's go left this time. Oh shit! Kill you stop. God, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, dude. Whew. Okay, blood pressure. Um. You really mustn't creep up on uh, people like that. Yeah. <laughs> Same to you. Okay, sorry, I didn't expect. <laughs> wow, that's curvy. I startled me, man. I just was not expecting someone to be standing right on the other side of the door. Anyway, um, okay, I didn't expect to bump into anyone alive down here. Yeah, exactly. What the hell are you doing? Hey, you're the egghead. I mean, scientist. The kid was talking about creep up on you. I just crapped my pants for. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> well, that's no way to talk to a man of science. <laughs> talk to a man of science, right? Oh, Jesus. Okay. I don't have time for this kind of childish nonsense. I have some very delicate experiments that I must attend to. Okay. Um, how about we start the experiment by decorating the wall with your brains? No, let's not be a dick. Um, what do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh, wait. I'm a scientist. How marvelous. How marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. All right, that sounds like a noble cause. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? As long as it doesn't turn them into fire-breathing ants, sure. Um... Yeah, I get, I get the idea. What's our solution? Oh, my. I suppose I do tend to ramble on about all things academic. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage I've caused. Okay. So, what can I do to help? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. Ant if Queen? If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Did you say Ant Queen? Shit. If the Queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? Why not just kill the Ant Queen? Yeah, kill the Ant Queen. If I were to do that, months of data would be lost. No, no, the Queen must remain completely unharmed. Okay. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Mm, filthy little abominations. Okay, nest guardians? How will this undo the mayhem that you have caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Okay. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. Or other people that happen to get in the way? 
So, that's all there is to it. What do you say? Um... <laughs> you want to help fork over some cap sign sign? Um, no, we'll go ahead and do it for Brian's sake of nothing else. You will? How marvelous. Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Are they worse than warrior level ants? Um, what else can you tell me? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. Okay. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. Which means not much. Um, how do you... How did you go from changing their size to breathing fire, exactly? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Sort of kind of realize that, yeah, sure. Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Okay. Will anything special hurt these ants? I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Garden variety giant ant? Okay. Uh, just aim for their antennae if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. Okay. Aim for their antennae. How the heck can an ant even breathe fire? The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. Okay. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw I call its calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? It actually is pretty amazing, except for the fact that they point their fire at me. All right. Yeah. What do you know about Brian Wilkes? Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He's just a little boy, though. He had no regard for oh, the... Oh, get over yourself. Can't you take responsibility for your fa his father's death? Don't you realize you've ruined his entire life? You should have at least told him you were alive. He thought he was alone. I mean, any one of these could really be appropriate. Let's go with the third one. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my Dude, work? Dude, that's not the point. <laughs> um, yeah, so now that you're taking that attitude, you've kind of screwed his whole life up, dude. You have your ideals oh, and I have mine. Oh, fuck you. I'm down here to complain. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations oh, so the, of lives in the future... The ends justify the means, huh? All right, you're an asshole. You need to take responsibility for his father's death. All scientists take responsibility for their failures. Then do it. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the more... If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time... It okay, you know what? I don't like yes. you. Yes. Um, Much all right, let's go kill his ants, but if he happens to die in the process, I won't mourn his ass. Has he got stuff we can steal? You can take the fire at me. Okay, well, we're not going to steal his stuff because I don't want bad karma. Okay, I guess we're going down this way. All right, we have to kill. What actually? What do we have to do? We have to kill their guardian ants or something. Um, eliminate all five nest guardians from the ant queen's hatchery. Investigate the Marigold Metro Station to remove the source of the fire. Okay, that's what we're doing now. We can optionally not harm the ant queen. Okay, so here's the thing. He is trying to reduce the size of the ants so they're not dangerous. So that, in and of itself, is kind of a noble cause. And I guess if we kill the queen, he's not going to be able to continue that work. On the other hand, you know, the ants are breathing fire now. What if he continues to screw up and they even become worse? 
Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to think about that. I, I don't think I will intentionally try and kill the queen unless you know they give us no choice. Ant Queen's hatchery. Okay, so if these ants are worse than the frickin' um warrior ants, then we're in for a bit of a fight, because those warrior ants were tough. So I think what we'll do is we, uh, yeah, we want to try and take them out from a distance. So let's continue using the cowboy repeater for now, I suppose. And we'll also make use of explosives whenever we can. All right, fire ant nectar also gives fire resistance. Oh, there's one right there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I have no idea how tough these guys are going to be. But we're going to put down a frag mine. Um, we're also going to eat fire ant bits for fire resistance. We're going to... Eat fire ant nectar for fire resistance. And we're going to make sure we have our last master armor on. So that, that gives us like 70 fire resistance. Very nice. Okay, let's get back here. Nice one. He's going to walk right over the mine. Okay. That wasn't too bad. One down, four to go. Now these things aren't they're not any tougher than the warriors. Maybe not even as tough. Okay, we got this. Shit, we one-shotted him. Okay, three down, two to go. There's two right there, right next to each other. You know what that means. Frag time. They're... What the hell? They're burning each other. Complete. Eliminate all. Okay, return to Dr. Lesko. What the hell is that noise? Oh, shit. That's the queen. Okay. I'm not going to kill the queen yet unless I something else comes to light that makes me think I need to. Oh, another passage back this way? Uh, just to there. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. 
I killed all the nest guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Isn't the queen going to eat you? Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. What should I do about Brian? You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. Me? Find him a home? It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. Well, you know, that's a good point, and you are an asshole, so I probably shouldn't leave him with you. Yes? Yeah. So what are you going to do now? Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home should you ever wish to visit me. Do you do actual medical doctor stuff? Much to do, so much to do. Okay. Uh Guess we're done. I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen if he goes down there with the ant queen. Let's, let's take these off. Man, it's so fucking dark. Yeah, I'm going to put them back on. Oh, I'll make it right. They'll see. Guess we can't get too close to him where he stops to talk. Let's just follow him and see what happens with the queen, because I'm just curious. This seems to imply that the queen isn't hostile, or at least not towards him. She seemed to be a little bit upset that I killed her guardians, though. Alright, so... There's the queen. She doesn't seem to be... Okay, you know what? Let's take these off. It is really bright in here. He doesn't seem to be hostile. For your safety, please stand clear. Ooh, big book of science. Take the 10 millimeter rounds too. So are you gonna like, uh, do that thing that breaks the empathic link. Okay. I think that queen is hostile. At least towards us. Alright, well nothing seems to be happening here. So, I guess... I guess we'll leave him to his own devices here, which is probably not a good idea, considering what he's done already, but maybe he'll be successful this time around. What does the quest say that we need to do? Return to Brian. Okay. If I stand up, is the queen going to spot me? Yes. What did you need? Uh, you don't have anything else to say. Be ever vigilant. Those from the genus Solenopsis are not to be trifled with. Like you're doing, you mean? Okay, well, I think we're just going to leave him be. I don't know if that's the right decision, but it's the decision I'm going to make. Okay, let's open this back up. You okay, kid? Yes, they're all dead. Every uh, single one of them. Uh, they are? How do you know? Okay. It was so weird. All of a sudden... The oh, he did activate it. And started fighting each other. Okay, cool. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Yep, it was all me. All the answer, Dad, I'm done here. Go home. Um, I'm glad you're safe. I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. That's okay. I got a 44 Magnum with a scope out of the deal, so it's all good. I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. Um, yeah, you'll be better. 
Let me think about it. Um, well, I kind of don't want to just leave you here by yourself. Really? You mean it? Well, I do, but that doesn't mean you can follow me around, because following me around is actually more dangerous than staying here by yourself, but... Oh, boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Oh, yeah, you do. Uh, that sucks, dude. Sorry. Just don't forget about I me. won't forget about you, I promise, and my pit boy won't let me anyways. Uh, any idea where I can look for someone to take care of you? Well, papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Big giant ship somewhere or something? Okay, family's good to to be with. I mean, under the circumstances. Papa called the place Rivet City. Oh, Rivet City. But okay. I don't know where it is. Uh, I don't either. <laughs> uh, okay. You're pretty swell for a grown-up. I know. I try. Okay, so we will eventually get to Rivet City. And once we get there, we'll try and find his Aunt Vera and get him hooked up. Cause, yeah, he's not gonna he's not gonna do too well if he just stays here by himself. All right, let's go activate this uh, mole uh, travel place. Uh, here we go. Let's inspect mole hole. Great itch can now be transported to. Beautiful. Fairfax Ruins, Riverboat Landing, Citadel. I think that's like Brotherhood of Steel, isn't it? Wilhelm's Wharf. I wonder if... Uh, I don't know where this is, but I wonder if that would get us close to... Um, Rivet City. Rivet City's like way the hell down in the southeast corner of the map. I mean, it's like... Well, yeah, it's right there. No, I think, I think we need... To go there on foot, at least for the first time. All right, so we finished the Gray De, uh, Great Itch quests, except for the finding a home for Brian part, which we'll do later. We need to find a few more mole rats for Moira's test. That's the android thing. I mean, we have plenty of money to give asshole Moriarty, I guess. We're not high enough level in uh, explosives to do this yet, at least last time I checked. And I think these are just bobbleheads. So, I'm going to... There was, there was some way we could learn more about this if we talked to Red at Big Town. So we could work on that next. I'm kind of feeling like I want to get back on the main quest, so maybe we should just... Give Colin his money and move on with it. I mean, the fact of the matter is, I actually know where we need to go because I've done it before. But you know, we got we got to kind of stay in character here. Um, and since you know, since we have the coin now, we should probably just my character will probably just go ahead and and pay Moriarty and and get be done with it so we can. Continue on. So I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll start pursuing um, the main quest. And, uh, you know, it, when we start up the next episode. That's the sewer way station. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.